Have you always been a fan of the cash? I'm I'm brown, yeah. I, I don't <laughs> I don't see the correlation. Oh you don't? Oh that's good for you, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. All no. all brown people like the cash. Oh yeah. Alright, okay. Okay, you heard that from Tuss, not me. Don't <laughs> yeah. go don't go don't go throwing shade on me online. CK's a bit racist. Um uh, One city, one evening, one bench. I wonder who will be open to having a conversation tonight? I just came out for a walk and I enjoy going for walks these days, especially at night. There's something quite charming about it. I never used to do it, but I'm doing it more frequently nowadays. And as I was walking, it's very dark. And I thought, I never make content in the dark. It's always light whenever I do anything. And I thought, well, there's probably a good reason for that. You can't stop talking to people. Well, you can, but I've just never done it. You'd think the stakes would be higher as well when you start talking to people in the dark. Would they be receptive? So I was just sitting here on this bench. It's a very ordinary regular bench and I thought what if I just initiated conversation with random passerbys just to see what they'd say and I thought what can you ask someone that's not too weird but is a nice thing to ask another human and just to see what they'd say and I, I thought about it for a couple of minutes I thought, what if I just asked people what's been your highlight of the week it'd be interesting to see what people would say if I just asked them what's been the highlight of the week um even more fun given that it's I'm talking about highlights in low light so maybe we'll just call it that maybe we'll just call it low light highlights and we'll just we'll just see how we get on with with that guys can I ask what's been your highlight of the week I'm just gauging as in bank holiday <laughs> okay bank holiday for that guy buddy mate Nope, he's just gone straight past. We'll, we'll see what this guy has to say. Excuse me, mate. What's been your highlight of the week? Maybe holiday tomorrow. I'm just asking, hold, say hi. Hi. Yeah. Holiday tomorrow, you doing yeah. anything? Bank holiday. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah, thank you. Very see you, buddy. Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening too. So far, everybody's excited about holidays. Um, it's better than them just blanking me and like, what? What are you on about, dickhead? There doesn't appear to be anybody. Doesn't appear to be anybody coming here yet, so I will pause this and continue when the next human comes past. Okay, there are people coming up the stairs. So we'll see what's been the highlight of the week. Hopefully this will be something a bit more interesting than the bank holidays. Excuse me guys, what's been your highlight of the week? If anything. The weather. The weather? Yeah. It's been good, I'll give you that one. What about you mate? Just started your new job. Do you wanna come and I, I often do you wanna come and tell me about your new job? I'm not weird, don't worry, I just <laughs> I like talking to randoms. Tell me about your new job. Uh, it's a pretty shit job. I mean, it's just a warehouse job. Though. It's just a warehouse job. Yeah, tell, right. tell me about it. I, I, by the way, I'm CK. Nice to meet you. Nice Oleg. To, Oleg? Yeah. What's your name? Tuss. Tuss? Yeah. You, let's say hi. I do a lot of YouTube. All right. Hi, I'm Tuss. Hey. Oleg. <laughs> Oleg, do you mind me recording? Because I do no, a lot no, of... No, that's not true. Wicked. Come and tell, tell us about your job. Tell us... Oh, sit yeah. down. Sit down. <laughs> Tuss, sit <laughs> down. <laughs> no, it's fine, mate. It's fine. Tell me. I, I, I enjoy. I enjoy this kind of shit. It's weird. <laughs> so, Oleg, tell, is that is that from Russia? Are you from yeah. Russia? Yeah. I've, I've only. Knew that. I've only ever. No. But do you know why? Because I once. I've only ever known one Oleg. He was a photographer in London, and he was from Russia. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's so. like uh, Joe or John over there. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've only ever known well now two. Yeah, so, yeah. so um, how, um, how long have you been in Sheffield? Uh, Seven years now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And Tuss? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Do you, have you just recently met or have you been friends beyond that? Oh, uh, yeah. Seven, eight months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We've been okay. friends for, for about a year now, nearly. Uh, did you come here to do uni? Uh, I, no. I, I've 
been bopping around all around the country and then kind of settled down here for Ilums. I'm only 20. You're only so, 20? Yeah. Okay, oh, and, you, and you too? So I came to work two years ago. I came to work, yeah. From? From London. From London. Oh, all right. Okay. Is that where you were born? Or? No, no, Bradford is where I was born. Born in Bradford, yeah. lived moved in London. To, for moved to London for work, moved to Sheffield. <laughs> Afterwards okay. for more work. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you want my story, I kind of was born well, in Sheffield, yeah. grown up in Sheffield, spent some time in London, love it. Yeah. Mainly the North, Camden, Wilsdon. Yeah, Camden's really nice, yeah. Big I fan. I came for the first time the other week yeah. to London. You took him, he's not luggage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... That's <laughs> what most people do think of me, but... Okay, okay. <laughs> So tell us about the warehouse job, Oleg. Like, tell us, tell us, tell us. Um, okay, so uh, worked warehouse job in Denmark when I was there. I've just come back. Uh, okay. And while I was there, it was so chill. You could do, like, there's no uh, safety training or anything. I just turned up for the job. They said, this is what, uh, this is scanner, <laughs> this is this, these are crates, blah, blah, do this. I love, the way, your, I love the way your personal well-being means nothing to exactly. you. <laughs> but they, just, they just assume, like, you're intelligent enough to figure it out. Like, are you? Questionable. All right. But, you know, I did. I survived. Um, yeah. And then I've come back here. They're so strict. Like they, they give you like a whole week of nothing but just hours and hours and hours of safety training. Like don't cross under a, a, a ladder. Like obvious one. Don't go underneath this giant machine that sounds like an earthquake. Obvious one. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Stuff like this. Just... Okay. I'm thinking like how little common sense do people have to have to not? Yeah. Well, I mean, nowadays everybody's got to cover their ass. But mm -hmm. and and what about you? So so Oleg's rocking the warehouse. What about you, Tuss? I work in IT. I okay. IT stuff. Well, we know who's got the brains. <laughs> <laughs> in this arrangement. Yeah. Um, well, hey, let's let's end with two final questions. Tell me your hopes and dreams. What you guys hope to accomplish before your worm snaps. Like, what? Um, and I'll share what I want to accomplish mm -hmm. as well. Let, let's share. Oh, like first. Uh, try and curb climate change, really. Um, Is that your thing? Yeah, vertical farming. What farming? Vertical farming. Vertical farming? Mm -hmm. What does like, that mean? Uh, vertical urban farming, hydroponics, things like this. Okay, um, I'm going to have to refer to the brainy guy. <laughs> <laughs> what about vertical farming? Yes. No, you're best off. All right. <laughs> come come to me about computers. Okay, yeah. Vertical farming, that's all like department. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Basically, it's like... Um, it's been around for years, like maybe 20, 30 years, and it's just taking all the newest technologies in agriculture. And you're using 95% less water, no soil, um, you're growing in basically the most dense, efficient way you can, so you're producing the most amount of food for the least amount of energy, okay. water, resources, everything. So, and because you're growing indoors, yep. controlled environment, no pesticides, no herbicides, it's all organic, okay. it's okay. all, this is literally everything you would ever want from food. And sure. And people barely, do, barely don't know about it at yeah, all. Yeah, I can, it's I like can. just a recent thing that people are starting to catch yeah. on about. But I mean, is it something you've always been mindful of or is you, have you kind of, just, are you kind of joining that wave of being more mindful of what you're putting in yourself recently? Uh, have you always grown up being conscious? I've always grown up being conscious. Why? Is that like a family thing? For uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, my nan really. Your yeah. nan? Okay, fine. Um, so, so your hopes or ambitions is to curb climate change and, yeah. and eat better shit? Yeah, basically. And make, everybody make sure else. Everyone, make sure everybody. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's noble. Bravo. Right, he set the standard high to us. Yeah, don't just, don't just say, so make sure computers work. No, mine, mine's really selfish. I just want to travel the world and make a lot of money. Oh, man. Yeah. All of a sudden, everyone switched off. They're like, back to all XCK. Yeah. <laughs> Toss isn't for us. Yeah, no. Okay. That's, that's mine. That's me. Okay. Travel yeah. the world. Make loads of money. Yeah. Have, you, have you always been? Have you always been a fan of the cash? I'm. I'm brown. Yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't see the correlation. Oh, you don't. Oh, that's good for you. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. All, no. all brown people like the cash. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. You heard that from Tuss, not me. Don't yeah. go. Don't go. Don't go throwing shade on me online. CK's a bit racist. Um, <laughs> Um, okay, tra w w where's the top of your place to travel that you haven't yet been? Um, Indonesia, Philippines. Indonesia. Indone Indonesia and the Philippines, but I'm not top. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So basically, anywhere in East Asia, really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Southeast Asia. Okay. Yeah. Well, my, well my, uh, my, my hope and dream is to, is to have one of the formats I've written 
picked up by Netflix. Oh, nice. So I'm kind of leaning towards you in terms of um, superficial. <laughs> <laughs> but not really, not really. I'll tell you why, though. I just kind of love content, and I love content that's underpinned by me just interacting with people. So here's my closing question. Genuinely, when I just randomly asked you that question out of the blue, did you think weird? Or did you think, hmm, all right. The uh, hopes and dreams or just... No, no, just to when, I just, when you're when you walking past and I just started talking to you. What were your right. thoughts? Uh, let's go with... Let, no, let's go with Tuss first. I thought it was just pretty cool. Yeah. I wish more people were like that because normally people are just like... It's not... You know, that's the good thing about the North and the South. I mean, versus the South. In the North, if you ask people, they're like, yeah, let's do it. In the South, it's more of mind my fucking business. I'm going to look down. I'm going to walk straight on. What? It's a more of a busy city. Uh, was there not even a fraction of hesitance? No, or, there was, yeah. There was a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. What, what, and what took that away? You weren't drunk. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't see any alcohol bottles near you. You didn't, you didn't look jittery, jittery or anything? Like. No, didn't look jittery? Yeah. I'll bet. I, okay, so what were your first thoughts? Same? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, at the same time, kind of the opposite. It's because of maybe how I'm used to the North, and this happens a lot here. Like, anywhere you go, people just spark a conversation. Okay. Like, like, on the trams, I swear to God, like, er almost every time I go on there, there's someone will just start a conversation with me about the most random shit, and then... <laughs> yeah, so I think, for me, it's kind of more of like, oh, I'm tired of it sort of thing. But that, that was all, yeah. Oh, hey. yeah. Well, I, I mean, I personally absolutely love talking, so you guys lean in, because I want one of you to say some closing words, then. This is, this is custom, this is my signature. Okay. One person always says some closing words, then ends the video, which is the, you know what the end button is, so it's your um... call. Okay. okay. Connect with people, create things, contribute to the world, learn and earn. Will Rogers once said that too many people spend the money they earn to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. Toss, don't be one of those people. <laughs> Good luck, boys.